what's swagging players it's your boy stacks montana man back out here on this wwe 2k20 my career feature the future hall of famer and the current goat the prototype and we also got the most beautiful woman in the world chrissy baby and uh yeah man we back out here into my career mode bro i've been streaming some wwe lately bro a lot of y'all been pulling up to the streams having fun me and my boy rain had a uh, uh, uh what's it called a elimination chamber match it was crazy we played online it, it was wild bro it was a wild time and of course the prototype had to pull it out and win that elimination chamber match but anyway moving forward we got to get back to the story mode a lot of things have been going down so without further ado, let's go ahead and get back into it. We just signed our deal with NXT, and as you can see, we've been grinding on those towers as well, bro, on our off time, bro. We've been grinding, so the prototype is now a 73 overall, and Chrissy is a 72 overall. And look at Peyton Royce in the back. You know that her and Chrissy got some, um, some, uh, some history together, you feel me? They had a match. When Chrissy, well, actually, it was Crystal's very first match, and she came out there, she got the dub. It was crazy. It was an exciting match. So we about to see what Peyton Royce talking about, and then we're gonna move on to NXT because I already know we about to go crazy in our NXT debut. Let's get. I feel like I recognize you from somewhere. You know, you know where you recognize the goat Chrissy from. You know you recognize her from Calgary. Oh, I know. You look just like the woman in those TV commercials for IBS. I think it's that scrunched up, miserable face you're always making. She come in disrespectful like she ain't get washed already, but it's all good. I beat you in my first match ever, remember? Yeah, yeah, do you remember that? Or are we gonna have to knock the memory back into you? Sorry, doesn't ring a bell, but congrats on winning that cute little trophy. Let me know if you ever wanna step up and face some real competition. Bro, why is she talking like we already have wreck with her already, bro? We already washed, yo. Yo, <laughs> you coming real disrespectful. Now you got to catch the beats again. Triple H, let's see what he talking about now. Obviously, she ain't really want the beats. They didn't even give me an option to have a match with this woman, so she ain't want these hands. Now let's see what Hunter talking about, bro. I just want to reiterate that we had no intention of signing you to NXT, possibly ever. But thanks to your friend sticking her neck out for you, that's obviously changed. So I suggest you make the most of this opportunity. Why is everybody disrespected Proto like this, bro? It's so disrespectful, dog. You need to get slapped up right quick, bro, because you come in wildly disrespectful. I will. Wait, so are you saying your buddy X-Pac never mentioned me? No, he did. Oh, okay. So at least you have his recommendation to go off of, too. I said he mentioned you. I didn't say it was good. Bro, yo, this is re this is ridiculous, bruh. Crystal getting all of the shine, and they just leaving me in the background to sit and rot. I need to get some shine, too, bro. I need to start getting my shine right, you feel me? All right, let's get back to it, man. I don't really know what's going to happen next, but... She has something disrespectful to say about Chrissy. Hunter has something disrespectful to say about Proto. It's just been a, a world of wild disrespect going on. I don't really like it, but whatever. Let's get it. Uh, I hate these things so much. Then why were you in such a hurry to get here? Because I hate being late slightly more than I hate awkward social obligations. I mean, if one more person says something dumb like, look, it's red on the red carpet, I'm going to strangle them. Um, red? Well, there goes my opening line. <laughs> she gets a little cranky when she's nervous. Anyway, I've been covering the WWE Hall of Fame for almost 15 years, and I've never seen anything like this. We've had individuals, tag teams, factions, families, but never a pair of best friends inducted together. This is truly a special night. It really is, Byron. But just because our in-ring careers are over doesn't mean we can't continue to give back to the business that gave so much to us. In fact, that's why I'd like to officially announce I'm available for commentary and hosting work. So, WWE, if you're looking to freshen things up around here, then you know where to find me. Are you trying to take my job? What? 
I'd never do that. Don't be so insecure, Byron. Okay. Well, that concludes one of the most interesting red carpet interviews of all time. Live TV, everyone. What was that? You're welcome for taking the heat off of you. And maybe I was auditioning for a gig. You don't want to stay involved in some way? No. When I said I was done, I meant it. Red. Trey. Velveteen. Congratulations. But just keep in mind. It's one thing to achieve your dreams, but you will never be the dream. Great to see you too. See? That's why I hate these things. You run into all sorts of people you have history with. That was super awkward. Yeah? Well, at least it didn't end with someone getting knocked out like back in the day. Hey, where are you going? The show hasn't even started yet. I don't have anything to do, so I'm leaving. Seriously? You should stay. Y you never know what could happen, plus it at least gives the impression that you care. I do care. In fact, I care too much, which is why I can't take just sitting around doing nothing while everyone else gets opportunities. We're still relatively new here. I think you just need to give it more time. We've been in NXT for months and I've barely been on TV. And other than you, no one even knows who I am. It's like high school all over again, right down to having to ask permission to use the bathroom. Who makes you do that? Cassius Ono. Wait, is he just messing with me? See? Exactly like high school. Look, bathroom pranks aside, I think you're overreacting. Really? Watch this. Hey, Ricochet, good luck with your match tonight. Oh, thanks, Troy. He almost got your name right. That's a start. If that doesn't prove my point, I've also asked just about everyone on the roster to be my partner for the Dusty Classic, and they all said no, or worse, ignored me. Okay, fine. Maybe there's some truth to what you're saying, but I still believe it'll get better. Do you think anyone would catch on if you disguised yourself as a man so you could be my partner? <laughs> as much as I'd love to try to pull that off, I'm focused on beating Rhea Ripley to get a shot at the NXT Women's Championship. It's gonna be tough since she still hasn't gotten over the fact that I beat her in the Mae Young Classic. But at least you have the Mae Young Classic win. It proved you belong here. My problem is everyone thinks I'm just riding your coattails. Well, you know what? From now on, I'm gonna ride my own coattail. How do you plan on doing that? I need to do something big to get people's attention. Something that'll change the narrative. And I need to do it tonight. I like the fact that you're not just giving up and going home, but keep in mind, I put my reputation on the line by getting you hired here. So anything you do ultimately reflects back on me. I understand, but you have nothing to worry about. Hey, do you know where I could get some handcuffs on short notice? And now I'm worried. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and will determine the number one contender for the NXT Women's Championship! Wait a second, what's he doing out here? Before we get to that match, which my friend Red is gonna dominate, there's something I need to say. When I was signed to NXT, I was told to make the most of my opportunity. Well, so far, the only opportunity I've had is to sit in the back every week like some kind of glorified cheerleader watching everyone else do their thing, while I ask myself over and over again why I'm not out here. Maybe it's because I'm not good enough in the ring, or I don't have the right look, or I rub someone the wrong way. Or maybe it's simply because my friend helped me get a job and no one can see me as anything other than a charity case. I could drive myself crazy trying to figure it out, but one thing's for sure. If I never get a chance to show what I'm capable of, how will anyone know if I deserve to be here or not? Luckily, there's a tournament coming up that has put countless NXT superstars on the map, the Dusty Classic. Only problem is, I've tried and tried to find a partner, and so far, all I've gotten is a bunch of no's, blank stares, and who the heck are you's? But there's one person I haven't asked yet, someone who calls themselves the Dream but they've never competed in the tournament named after the real dream, the American dream, Dusty Rhodes. 
So I'm not leaving this ring until Velveteen Dream comes out and agrees to be my partner. But wait, are, are those handcuffs? Are you kidding me? Get this idiot out of the ring. No wonder no one wants to be his partner. Uh, this is certainly an unconventional way of doing things. He called out Velveteen Dream, and thankfully, here he comes. Yeah, hopefully to put an end to this mess. So, are you going to be my partner? Because as you can see, I'm not going anywhere until I get a yes. The dream always keeps a spare handcuff key on his person. You never know when you might need it. If you want the Dream to be your partner, then you need to prove yourself by beating the Dream in a match later tonight. You've got the Dream's attention, but let's see if you can keep it. That was certainly unexpected, but Velveteen Dream has made a career out of defying expectations. Look, I don't care how weird that was. At least Velveteen got the moron out of the ring. Well, let's get back to the previously scheduled match. Me riding my own coattail. Well, maybe give me a heads up next time you're gonna hijack the show right before my match. You got this. Bro, I know it's not just me. The Velveteen is, ooh, that boy kind of, hey, the boy kind of weird. And I'm gonna leave it at that, man. The boy is kind of weird. And I know, like I said, I know I ain't the only one that feel like that. Now, let's get back to this washing, bro. Regularly scheduled program Aria getting washed you feel me we already washed her in a May Young Classic now we got to go in and wash her in our first NXT match but it's not our first one because in the cutscene they said they've been here for a while for a couple of months a few months or however long so uh I'm gonna say about like six months they've been in NXT so uh not our first match but our first playable match in NXT drop kick right to the lower back She's Go ahead and DDT. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Chrissy is looking just as elite as she did in the May Young Classic. Kick to the gut. And go ahead and slam her. Yo, hold up. Is this a squash match? Is this a squash match? Is this starting to feel like one? Definitely starting to feel like one. Let's go ahead and stand her up. Let's go ahead and stand her up. Woo, woo. Oh, oh, I missed. Oh, Lord. I thought I, I, thought I, caught, I, thought I was doing something cool. Oh. Oh, we just got picked up in the air and they just let us fall down like that. That's tough. But we got big reversals on us, man. You feel me? The game data came out with a patch for the game. And for the most part, man, the reversals work now. But they pop up when they're supposed to. And Chrissy going back to the top rope. Drop that elbow one more time right on the heart. And we're going back up to the top rope. And this time we're going to go for something a little more crazy. A something a little bit more crazy, you feel me? They want us to get her down to red health. And so far we've been doing a good job at that. Oh, my goodness. Fire move. Perform a standing strike. While she's in the ring, that's going to be easy. Let's hit her with these hands. Rhea 
answers with a decisive big kick. That looks like that rocked Red. Red counters with a super kick. Both women are down. It's over. Hold on. Both women's shoulders were on the map when the ref counted three. Oh, I saw two. Can we get some kind of official ruling on this? Rhea Ripley and Red both believe they won and deserve the title opportunity. So I guess we'll have to wait and see what happens next. What else could go wrong tonight? Here we go. We got our match tonight as well. We called out Velveteen Dream. Well, we didn't really call him out for a match. We called him out to be our partner because we... We was desperate, dog. obviously. The boy was desperate for a partner. So we had to just call out the last person we haven't even asked yet. Everybody been telling me, no, who are you? So we finally got a match. We win this match. Obviously, Velveteen will be our partner for the uh, for the Dusty Classic. And, you know, hopefully we can put ourselves on the map. By the way, I don't know if you noticed yet, but I have still yet to work on an entrance for Chrissy and for Proto just yet. Uh, I got their attires right. Uh, Proto's move set is 100% complete. Chrissy's, I'm still working on it, tweaking it. I want to change her finisher from the curb stomp to something else. You can let me know some suggestions down below in the comments. But, um, yeah, I'm still working on that. You know what I'm saying? I want to be able to, once we get called out to SmackDown and Raw, I want to be able to, you know, be, be pretty be pretty fire. You feel me? So, that's what we're working on as of right now. But, like I said, the attire is fire. Still got to work on the entrance, bro. You know what I'm saying? We still got to get that thing right. But besides that, we ready to go. Proto's ready for a big match. This is probably the biggest match of his career right now. Because if we lose this match, obviously, we would not have a partner for the Dusty Classic. And we can just get lost in this NXT's amazing roster. So, we got to do something, bro. This, gotta, this is definitely our most important match of the series so far. And here goes our potential opponent, the Dream Velvet. <laughs> oh man, all of this purple smoke, bro. I'll oh, oh, get lost in it, bro. But there you go. Let's go, bro. I'm ready for this match, man. Like I said, very important match. So we gotta make sure we turn up. We gotta make sure we go crazy. Velveteen Dream making his way to the ring, and I know he's gonna take all day. You feel me? The, the man is very flamboyant. You feel me? So this match, it may be interesting. We'll see how it, we'll see how this thing goes, bro. I ain't gonna no cap though. Those glasses kind of fire. I mean, I wouldn't rock them myself. I think they cool for him and the look he's trying to go for and the things he's trying to do. I think you know then that fits him well. But you know what I'm saying? I wouldn't rock them necessarily myself. But I ain't ready for this match, bro. We gotta go all out, dog. We we can't afford. To be caught lacking, get caught slipping. We can't afford for nothing. By the way, Chrissy performance in that match earlier just shows that she is she's definitely she definitely carries the squad right now. You feel me? So that's why Proto is trying to put himself on the map with this match and then trying to win the classic. And then trying to just use the classic as a way to catapult himself to the top of NXT's roster. You feel me? But We'll see if we can be able to get there. By the way, Chrissy's match ended in some BS. We obviously know she won that match. She hit the wild super kick, fell back over to her opponent. And the match, what is this man doing, bro? Oh! Bro, get up, bro. Hey! I don't even really want to look at this man, bro. Like, he got a pie. You wild, you wild, wilding right now, bro. You wild, wild. Get up, bro. Why is Proto back? Hey! Man, yo, cut it out, bro. Just get up. Actually, stay down on the mat so I can just pin you easily. You feel me? My career depends on it right now. But you're going to be spending a lot of time on that mat, though. No cap, though. You feel me? Because I'm coming for straight beats. I'm putting the beats on you, bro. All right, let's get it. NXT crowd is filling the match. They're they getting real rowdy. And I'm ready to do this thing. Big knee to the forehead, you feel me? Stand him up. Stand him up, bro. Woo! Big hands. You already know what time it is. 
Someone behind him? Get up behind him? Well, not. Oh, my God. Oh, he flipped. He reversed it. Oh, he kicked me in my face. And now I can't reverse, man. But he has no reversal. So, actually, he's going to gain a reversal back. By the time I'm able to reverse again. So, yeah. Yeah, we just got to lay here and just get beat up by Velveteen for a while. Because I can't reverse it. This man is about to pull out his whole move set on me. Jesus. All right, now we can get back to reversing some moves, bro. Finally get back to doing some reversals. Get up off me, boy. Don't play with me like that. Don't disrespect the guy like that. Don't disrespect him like that. Let's go. Now it's time to show our moves. Go to the top rope, my guy. Go to the top rope, my guy. Let's go. Big old splash. Big old splash. Let's get it, man. We ain't even close to being done here either. Oh, kick to the stomach. Going off the ropes. Drop him down on his head. Like I said, you know we ain't done yet. Oh, whoa, whoa. What the way? Hold up, bro. Yo, hold up, man. Relax yourself. Who told you you could do that? I was not prepared. I ain't gonna lie. I was not prepared for that. I was not prepared for that. He wasn't prepared for Bro, the athleticism of Proto, man. Like, obviously, from the beginning of the series to now, bro, the man has, oh, my God, busted the man open. But he's obviously been working on his moves, bro. He's obviously been working on his in-ring action, you feel me? Oh, you want to play? Are you one of those? Oh, I was supposed to punch him. Oh, man. Oh, no. Oh, Lord. Dang, right on the back like that, though? That's how you bumming bet. Say that. Say less, actually. Oh, now I can reverse? Oh, no, nah, I'm reversing. I got reversals. Oh, whoa, what the heck? Yo. Oh, he playing dirty, dirty. Bet, say less. Like I said, say less. Why can't I reverse? Why can't I reverse, though? I had to use my my instant recovery because for some reason I couldn't reverse. It's all good now, but couldn't reverse. Let's get him back in the ring, bro. We can't win this match outside the ring, so let's get him back in the ring. Well, actually, let's bring him right back out the ring, right onto his back. And now let's go right, right in here. Let's go ahead and stand this man up. Let's go ahead and stand him up. You know what type of drama I'm bringing. You know what type of drama I'm bringing. Proto is very athletic, bro. I got to say, I got to say, the man has been working on his in-ring skills, out-ring, outer-ring skills. I feel like his promo skills been there already, though. I feel like the promo skills been there. He's getting up. We're going to allow Velveteen to get up, make his way back into the ring, and go ahead and get right back on. Oh, whoa. How did that happen? Oh, hell no. Bro out here trying to get wild sexy on the boy. Hey, nah, yo, chill out, relax. You know we don't play those type of games. Bro, I know I reversed that. Man, that ain't about to slam me on my back again. I know I reversed it. Velveteen, it's no, it's no reason for all of these black-on-black -black crimes, my boy. Whoa, whoa. Yo, why can't I reverse him? Oh, he tried to slap me. He tried to be disrespectful. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Me and Velveteen going at it, bro. I ain't going to lie. This is, this is a fire match so far. We both showing a lot. Let me go ahead and throw that man into the ring post. We both showing a lot this match, so why not keep it going, bro? Whoa. Oh, got him again. Bro, it's about that time. We got to go ahead and get this man in the ring, bro. Oh, man, he reversed me again. I'm right behind you, buddy. Oh, never mind. I didn't mean to do this. I didn't mean to go up there. I didn't mean to go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. That was close. That was super close. But you know what time it is. Velveteen, the match was great. But I got to go. And you got to go. Two. Sleep, one, two, three, let's go. What a way to end that. I didn't, all right, bro, all right. 
I didn't read the objective. I beat him, though. Okay, we saw that. We both saw I beat Velveteen, though. I beat him. I won the match. I won. But I was supposed to perform a standard strike while he's in... All right, bro. All right. We finally back. As you can see, this time, man, I'm washing him, actually. I'm actually washing this, man. We went for the splash this time. Now we got to go in and hit him with a strike. All right. Oh, my goodness. The man that kicked me in my face. This is disrespectful and ridiculous at the same time. Oh, whoa, hold up. Look at my reversal. Come on outside. Oh, you, oh, you want to know? Oh, no, I keep forgetting it's R1 now. I keep forgetting it's R1. Oh, I got him, though. Oh, he reversed me. He reversed. Uh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. You missed that one, didn't you, buddy? Now let's hit him with the strike. Ref, move. Let's go. Trey setting up for a suplex, but Velveteen blocks it twice. <laughs> Velveteen Dream hits the neck breaker. Maybe you'll find a partner next year, pal. And now he's going to the top. This might put an end to Trey's hopes of competing in the Dusty Classic. Do it, Dream. Purple Rainmaker. Thankfully, this is all over. Come on, cover him. What's the hold up? Wait, what's Velveteen doing? No, no. He's telling the referee to count. Velveteen Dream is letting Trey win. You gotta be kidding me. What the heck is he thinking? Why would you do this? Maybe Velveteen wanted to be Trey's partner after all. Who knows with Velveteen, but that guess is as good as any. I can't believe it. This dream just turned into an absolute nightmare. Velveteen's confusing actions aside, you're looking at the newest team to enter the Dusty Roads Tag Team Classic. This is ridiculous and outrageous, bro. As y'all already see, the first time I beat this man, bro, I, I won. I beat him. Go to sleep right through his nugget, right through his face, mess his whole grill open, bust him open, all of that. I won the first match. It was more back and forth in the first match, but I won. Now, all of a sudden, a cutscene telling me I was supposed to lose and he let me win, bro. This is disrespectful. But we did win. You know what I'm saying? I'll, I'll, I'll take it. If, if that's how I got to go down, then that's how I got to go down. I'll take it. Let's see what Ray got to say. Because I know she she's probably still upset about the way her match ended. The way I interfered and kind of took over before her match. So I know she's probably pretty still upset. So let's see what she got to say. Hey, I ran into Triple H earlier and assured him your stunt last week was just a one-time thing. You're lucky he thought it was good TV or you might be out of a job. Triple H thought I was entertaining? That's great. That's not exactly what I would have gotten out of that statement. Nonetheless, I'm happy you found someone to team with for the Dusty Classic, even if it's Velveteen Dream. What do you mean, even if? I just don't think he's the most trustworthy partner. But hopefully I'm wrong. He's too set on proving he's the real Dream to pull anything on me. So don't worry, I'll be fine. But what about your big contract signing tonight? You have anything planned? Yeah. I'm gonna go out there and sign the contract. That's it? These things are all about playing mind games with your opponent to get an advantage in the match. Like, what if you brought your Mae Young Classic trophy to the ring with you? That would really get in Rhea's head. Okay, since you seem to know about this sort of thing, I'll take your advice and bring the trophy out. Great. So, what did Triple H say about last week being good TV? Did he like my promo, or the handcuff move, or just everything overall? You should focus on your match. Everything seems to be going the way we need it to go. Now let's holler at Velveteen and see exactly what this guy is thinking, because you just, you just never know exactly what he's thinking, bro. I let you win last week, because the dream thought about what you said. And I want to prove that I am the real dream. That's all this is. You're just lucky to be along for the ride. I beat him already. Yo, I, 
I beat you. Okay, fine. But now that we're partners, shouldn't we discuss strategy or something? Here's a strategy. Stay out of the dreams way. <sighs> I beat this dude. That's why they should have let me win instead of him letting me win. Mm, I hate it, bro. I just hate that. Now, is it a ghost backstage? What the heck? But now it just feels like now he doing me a favor, even though I beat him. Heavy machinery in the background. What are they talking about? I, wonder if I heard what you at. said last week about wanting to prove you belong in NXT. I respect that. But it's not going to come at our expense. Okay. No, sir. Not our expense, Tucky. We came back to NXT for one reason to win the Dusty Rhodes Classic. That ain't gonna happen, but uh, I guess, okay. Back to win the whole enchilada! I actually watched your previous Dusty Classic matches to try to get an advantage, but there wasn't a lot to go on. You know, because you always lost in the first round. Talk that talk, about time, bro. We standing up for ourselves. Talk that talk, bro. You went there, huh? He did go there. Sounds like he wants to fight. I'm ready, bro. I'm ready and willing whenever, wherever. Uh, we could do handicap or we could do tag team with me and my homie, Velveteen. You feel me? I'm just stating a fact. Then here's another one. Tonight, we're going to destroy you. That's not facts, but okay. That's right, Tucky. Because we're coming. That ain't really facts, but uh, yo, Chrissy, what are you, what is she, anyway, let's go ahead and get into this match, bro, heavy machinery about to get taken out by the, the prototypical dream, ooh, the Velveteen prototype, the pro, what one do y'all like better for our tag team name, the typical, the prototypical dream, right, or the Velveteen prototype, ooh. I don't know. I I don't know. I really don't. <laughs> Just let me know down below in the comments which nickname you like better. And let's get to this match. Here we go, man. Hey, we about to turn up, bro. No cap, bro. We about to do our thing. We about to do what we supposed to do. Do what we got to do. You feel me? Proto making his way to the ring. Now Velveteen going to go ahead and make his way to the ring. We ain't got to watch this man do all of this slipping and sliding all over the floor again, bro. We ain't... We ain't got time for all of that, but we're gonna see what heavy machinery looking like. Go ahead and make y'all way to the ring. I guess this is first the first round of the Dusty Rhodes Classic. And I'm cool with that, bro. I'm cool with going against heavy machinery in the first round and go ahead and getting them boys out of here in the first round once again. They should be used to it by now, you feel me? Because them boys been first round exit every single year. Tucker and Otis. Heavy machinery. Let's get it, man. We ain't about to play no games, bro. I'm letting y'all know right now, dog. I hope these boys prepared for the type of drama we about to bring. As you can see, well, as you saw, me and me and Velveteen had a pretty solid match. You feel me? The first time. The second time when they made me lose, didn't win. Not that time, but that first match was straight heat. You feel me? We both was going at each other, so this one should be fire as well. I'm starting out the match, going against uh, my main man's uh, Tucker. Oh, whoa! And on top of that, they're facing a season duo. Whoa, that was that was interesting because I didn't even get the opportunity to like that move ain't do nothing to my man. But we got the wild reversals on deck, boy. You bug, boy. You bug, boy. You bug. I think I want to win this match without sub. Oh. Without tagging in Velveteen, bro. Show that man that I can carry myself, bro. I can do this on my own, dog. I don't really need you. And they say make sure Trey wins match by pin. So we can do that, bro. We can do that, man. We definitely can do that. And this man is busted open already. All of these dudes got some weak foreheads, bro. What is going on in the league, in the WWE? Oh! Straight out the ring like that, huh? Now you want to tag in his partner, Otis. Guys, at the risk of yeah. sounding like an amateur psychologist, 
It seems pretty clear. Otis, Otis, you done made a mistake coming out here, big boy. Big boy, brother Thickens. Oh, whoa, brother Thickens, what you think you're doing, brother Thickens? Big old brother Thickens right here, about to clutch these hands, you feel me? Yes, sir, yes, sir, the athleticism is ridiculous. The prototype's athleticism is ridiculous. Let's go ahead and stand up, brother Sickens. Let this man get back into the ref. Ref, I wasn't even worried about you, bro. What are you doing, man? Fall back. Get up, bro. Get up, brother Sickens. Ref, wild counting. Try oh, he reversed me. He reversed it, brother Sickens. Whoa, whoa. Boy done dropped the head booty on me. Oh, man, we, hey, we got to get in Velveteen. We got to get in Velveteen, dog. Oh, boy. We got to get in the dream. We got to get the dream in this match. We got to get the dream in this match. They wouldn't even let me use my payback. I guess it's all good. Oh, Lord. Oh. Bro, hey, Velveteen, I'm coming, bro. Just wait a second. Just wait. Oh, let me go ahead and slam this man. Oh, he reversed me. Oh, my God. Oh. Oh, oh, man. This is not going well. Here we go. This is our opportunity, man. Cause we got to do something. Let's tag in Velveteen. Let's go. Tag him in. Let's go. Absolutely has to make a tag here. That's easier said than done, Michael. Oh, I'm I'm controlling Velveteen now. Oh, what you doing? I ain't know I was gonna be controlling. Oh my goodness. I ain't know I was gonna be controlling him. So let's go ahead and get into it. Let's go ahead and wash Otis, bro. Otis catching the wild beats, bro. I thought it was gonna be Tucker catching these beats, but it's Otis. Oh. Right hand, running right hand. Okay, Velveteen coming in off the hot tag. I see you, my boy. Let this man back up, bro. He ain't really built like that. You feel me? He ain't really built like that. Otis ain't really built like that. You feel me? Man, oh. The man got an orange beard, bro. He ain't built. You feel me? He ain't built like that. He ain't built like that. Oh, my. Did he float in the air? Like. I feel like he kind of floated just now, like that. As long as he was in the air, yo, this man is strong as hell. Oh, oh, whoa, oh, oh, whoa, no, 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 jump on him. Oh, he made the tag to Tucker. But Velveteen ain't done yet. Velveteen still out here giving out wild hands, you feel me? Velveteen is still giving out wild hands. And he tried to make the hot tag. Whoa, whoa, what the heck are you doing, boy? What the heck? Oh, my God. Velveteen moves that kind of fire. No cap. No cap. No cap. No caparoni. No caparoni and cheese. No springboard. No springboard back. It's all good. We still doing what we got to do. All on your nugget. Oh, my God, bro. All on his nuggetino. Let's go for the signature. Woo! Let's go. No cap, Velveteen got it tough, bro. Oh, you can't do the running strike on the apron no more? So you got to physically grab him, punch him, beat him down, break his neck, bring him in the ring? Oh, my God. Velveteen is out here wilding for real. Hey, Tuck, relax. Hey, Tuck, relax. Tuck. Hey, yo, Tuck, relax, bruh. Let me up, Tuck. Hey, Tuck, you know what I'm saying? You don't want to do this, bro. You, I told you you ain't want to do this. Oh, Tuck, relax, bro. Tuck, Tuck. Tuck, chill out. Chill out, Tuck. Chill out, Tuck. Chill out, Tuck. Oh, hey, Proto, it's time for you to come in, bro. It's time for you to get back in this match. Oh, my God. I'm getting kicked all in the back. It's time for Proto to get back in this match. Let's go. Luthez press. Now let's get Proto back in here. And hold up, we want to do this one a little different, you feel me? We want to do this a little different. Go ahead and throw him in this corner. All right, not necessarily. With, oh, Proto with the with the sneak attack move. Now let's go ahead and beat up Otis. While we right here, go ahead and put these hands on him. Tucker, come on up, bro. Go ahead and stand yourself up, my boy. Don't even worry about it. We about to go ahead and dust you off anyway. You know what I'm saying? Velvet. Velvet team. We are looking golden right now. Oh, whoa, whoa. He getting too sexy. Well, my man just growled just now. 
Did my man just growl just now? Oh, I know I ain't just hear a damn growl. My man just hit the wild growl on me. It don't matter. Oh, it do matter. It matters. It matters. He's growling, bro. The man is growling. Oh, we recover. We recover. Punch him in the face. Oh, Velveteen, you, your hands are too slow, man. Oh, man. All right, at least he ain't got the wild growl no more. Whoa, but that hand was just... That hand was just ridiculous. Oh, got him. Kick him all in the head. Play possum on him. Thought you was going in for the tag? No way. I'm try I've been trying to throw this man to this corner for the longest, bro. I really... Yo, Proto, why you ain't punch him? If that was me. I would have punched him. I could have sworn I reversed that. He just throwing me from corner to corner, dog. I just can't get over the physical. Yo, dead ass, bro. You just throwing me from corner to corner. Got him. About time. Bro, why do every time I try to throw somebody in the corner, they reverse it every time? Oh, he cranked up on me, bro. He just cranked up on me. Now they bringing Otis back in this thing. And I'm trying to get Velveteen out this match right now, but I'm trying to throw this guy to the corner, but every time I try to throw it to the corner, there we go. About time. Double team. Let's go. Velveteen and prototype. The prototypical dream, or do we call this the, uh, what's it called? What's the other one? The, the velvet, the, the velveteen proto, the pro, I forgot. <laughs> I forgot the nicknames, bro. Oh, my God, but it's all good. We are putting in work. We are putting in work. Can we, can we get it from here? Oh, we can get it from here. We can get it from there. Count ref, that's one, two. Oh, he kicked out. Did his man's even help him? Tucker, did you even help him? Oh, Tucker with the wild reversal. Boom, Tucker, hold that. What you thought this was? You thought this was? Go ahead and pass that out there for a minute. And we about to hit the go to sleep on your man's. Oh! Otis then came through with the wild reversal. And now I can't reverse a thing because look at my. Oh, my God. This is, this is, this is, this is bad. This is bad. This is bad. But we back up, baby. We back up, DDT. DDT. And Proto has to be the one to get the pin. So, uh, yeah, this is going to be interesting to see how this works out because now I got to work to get a finisher back. Oh, that was a move right there. Pin. Ref. One. Two. Oh, that was only a two count. Damn, Velveteen, slow ass man. Oh my God, help me, bro. God damn it, man. Yo, what type of partner? What type of partner did I get assigned, man? I'm all passed out in this ring, dog. Oh man, all I did get, all I did was get cross body, bro. Oh, but I got up first. I got up first. You started to get up first, but I got up. Well scouted reversal there. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. They about to throw me. Hey, Velveteen, punch him in the face when you get over. Oh man, I'm getting beat up. This man is slapping his arms and oh oh, hey yo. I ain't got nobody to blame that on but myself, bro. Can't reverse a thing. Oh, heck no. Velveteen, you right here, bro. I ain't even gonna try to kick out. Oh, why? I was gonna say, I ain't even gonna attempt. My partner better not let me go out like that. Let's go. Stand him up. Hit him with the old drop kick. And let's go ahead and slam his head. Let's go. We put in that work. We gonna go for it one more time. We gonna go for that thing one more time. Let's go, Siggy Baby, from the top rope. Pin this man. One, two, three. Oh. Tucker, see you later. Oh, no. Whoa, whoa. Tucker, see you later. Oh, whoa. Tucker, oh, my God. Now I'm dazed and confused. I'm dazed and confused. Recover, 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 recover. Recover. Ain't no way he hit you that hard, bro. Ain't no way he hit you that hard. Let's try this again. Boom. Oh, my God. Okay. Tucker. Is a goat, bro. Tucker is a goat. Look at me. I'm drunk. I'm drunk. I'm drunk. Otis, sit, sit, sit. Down. Oh, Otis. Oh, Otis with the reversals. Why? Why, Otis? Why do you got to reverse me, bro? What did I do to you, bro? 
What is this man doing? Oh my God. And that might be just shoulders down. Velveteen, you scrub. Yo, Velveteen, man. Vel I hate him. I hate my partner. I hate him, man. Let's go. Hopefully we can win this match right now, bro. Hopefully we can win it right now. Let me go ahead and punch Otis in the face. Oh my God! Oh, yo, why do they always do this, bro? Like I can't do the running attack on the ropes anymore. So I try to just punch him in the face. There we go. Tucker, yeah, Tucker. It's time about that time, Tucker. Hey, Tucker. Hey, Tucker. You try and go to sleep, Tucker. Hey, Tucker. You try to go to sleep, my boy. Are you trying to go to sleep, my boy? We took Otis out. Count ref now. One, two. Velveteen, why couldn't you do that Let's for me? Why? Velveteen. Velveteen, bro. I almost won the match. Velveteen just let this man come over here and break up the pinfall, bro. We isolating Tucker right now. Doing a great job. Well, I'm not even really isolating. I'm just beating him down, bro. I'm just out here giving this man uh, Tucker the beats. But Velveteen let this man come in this match and disrupt my pen. Velveteen, what type of partner are you, bro? Move out the way. Move. Going to the top rope once more. Elbow. Whoa, whoa, he's going for the tag. No, he's not. What are you doing, bro? Why are you growling like that, bro? No, no, you're not tagging in nobody. You're not tagging them in. It's not gonna happen. Throw this man to the corner. Kick, punch, got him with DDT. My strike combos be crazy, bro, I'm telling you. My strike combos are ridiculous, I'm telling you. Tucker, boom, kick to the midsection. Tucker, go ahead and drop him on his head. Tucker, Tucker, Tucker. What do you got for me? Got him with that. Let's go ahead and take Otis out. Let's go ahead and take Otis out one more time. Tucker, let's go. Stand him up. Oh, I have no stamina. Hmm. But the man is leaning. The man went for that thing. The man just went down. Let's go in for the pin. Come on. Velveteen, interrupt. One, two. Velveteen, man. Bro, he's literally the worst partner in the history of partners, bro. He's literally the worst in the history of partners, bro. Velveteen is garbage. Velveteen is garbage, bro. Oh my now. Oh my god. I'm getting reversed now. Oh man. Now I'm about to get beat up in this corner. Get my chest stomped on. Oh my goodness, Velveteen. You you suck, man. Help me, bro. Ain't that what you supposed to help me? This is ridiculous, man. I'm out here breaking backs, snapping necks. And, and all you got to do is make sure Otis don't bother me or break up this pin. That's all you got to do. That's all you ask to do. You're not pinning them in. Stop. Tucker. God, me and Tucker are the only ones to enter this match so far. I ain't tugging, I ain't tugging Velveteen. I ain't tagging Velveteen, man, bro. He's not getting tagged in. Whoa, that aerial. The aerial, hey, my aerial moves go crazy. My aerial moves a little different, bro. Bro, what? I just hit him, and he just instantly just hit me. Bro, heck no, he's about to tag in his, oh, no, he's not. Oh, man, look, he just pulling out all types of stunts on me, bro. What was that? Velveteen, if you let him. You can't Never mind, I can't even trust Velveteen, bro. Can't even trust him. Can't even trust the man to get me out of that situation. Last time I trusted him, he sold me. Oh, big reversal on me. Big reversal on me. Go ahead and break his neck again. Bro, what? Oh, we got him. We got him. I got a finisher, too. Oh, my God, he reversed me again. God, man. I'm not hot tagging nobody. You're not getting in this match, bro. You're not getting in this match. 
You're not, oh my God, another reversal. Another reversal. Another reversal. I'm right back up, though. I'm right back up, though. He has no reversals right now. Let's see if we can go for this. Let's see if we can go for this. Go for the finisher. Put the man to sleep. Put the man to sleep. Switch over to Otis. Switch over to Otis. Punch Otis. Get off. Switch back. Pin Tucker. Come on, ref. Ref, ref, ref. Why you got to come on this side? One, two, three. Yes. Velveteen never entered this match. I did it all on my lonely. All by myself. Because last time when I depended on this man, he sold. And we got the dub. It seemed like we we, we cool. We a cool tag team. You feel me? We not. You don't like he's hating on me. Even though he never got a chance to get in this match. Don't seem like he hating. So we might be all right, bro. You all have history with one another. But at NXT TakeOver, more history will be made. When you'll compete in a triple threat match for Candice LeRae's NXT Women's Championship. Now, if you could each sign your names on the contract, we can make this match official. Before we sign anything, I want to ask what you're doing out here with that trophy. You think you're real cute, don't you? This thing? I actually bring it everywhere. The grocery store, the gym, car wash, contract signings. I even sleep with it sometimes. Helps remind me of how I won the Mae Young Classic on my very first try. But who did I beat in the finals? Huh. I can't remember. I don't have time for this. You might want to stick around for a preview of what I'm going to do at TakeOver. And thanks to Rhea Ripley, this contract signing has officially gone off the rails. I mean, when do they ever stay on the rails, Byron? Rhea Ripley's going on a rampage. And now Rhea's using the Mae Young Classic trophy as a weapon. Uh, that's what Red gets for bringing it out here. It looks like Red has some kind of eye injury. No one deserves that, Corey. I don't give a damn about that. This is what I want. I'm so sorry. This is my fault. Rhea Ripley made a statement tonight. She will destroy anything in her path to capture the NXT Women's Championship. I'm going to go ahead and wrap this episode up right here, man. It's been a long one. Not going to cap to you boys. It's been a long episode. Hopefully, you enjoy it, man. But, uh, yeah, a lot of things done went down, bro. We got a lot of things to discuss, bro. Uh, first of all, Dusty Rose Classic is going well for me. I mean, the prototype is shining and gleaming. You feel me? I'm looking good, bro. Those I got a couple of dubs. Chrissy, on the other hand, I got bust all in the eye. And ain't looking too good for her right now. You know what I'm saying? You like literally ain't looking too good. She can't even see right now, bro. She got bust all in the eyeballs. You know what I'm saying? Things, but I don't know. She's injured. Hopefully, she can compete in her match for the NXT Women's Championship. I don't know. But hey, this is your first time watching the Stack Smart 10 video, man. Make sure you go ahead and subscribe. Also, if you enjoyed this video, drop a like on it for me. Make sure you click the playlist down below in the description to watch the rest of the wwe 2k20 my career series uh this is episode six i think right here episode seven coming real soon until next time man real fans stay up and aim out swag team bro zombie gang cuz let's go got that black hand mother get me through this shit they should go over that i might get these niggas 10 percent i'm a country man not business man that shit is off the grid off the map and shit might open up the bag and fucking deal like a bag of chips you niggas think it crunch time i'm a deal no 20 percent when my shit hit the charts and it's a hit they be 